and they also understand a lot of these guys have goals and aspirations of playing in the NFL. And a lot of times that rookie uh, wide receiver is going to be a guy that has to know all three positions. And that's the question that we get a lot from the pro scouts that come in are, you know, can this guy play multiple spots or has he just been in one spot? So a lot of times these guys are coming to me and they're wanting to move around even more uh, than I move them around. So uh, they really buy into it and it just adds uh, more layers to their overall depth. What have you seen from Ray Ray? Your yeah. wide receivers going up against him at quarterback. Yeah, it, it's, uh, it's been fun. You know, he's, Ray Ray is uh, one of those rare guys that can go back and forth. And, uh, you know, he's spent really the last uh, three practices, half the practice on defense, half the practice on offense. And, uh, you know, sometimes I catch him in my wide receiver, no, wide receiver meeting taking notes to help the DBs. Uh, <laughs> so I've had to get on to him about that a little bit. We give him a hard time. Uh, but it's great, and in the end, it's going to make him a better receiver because he's over there learning what Coach Reed is teaching those defensive backs about leverage and about um, releases and all those different things. And uh, so it's something we'll continue to do um, here through fall camp and kind of see how it all uh, shakes out as we get closer uh, to uh, game prep for Kent State. How much fun was last night for you watching these kids that you've recruited? play on that, that big stage in that game? You've obviously like, had guys before, but maybe not so many on the field at one time. Yeah, yeah, it was great. And uh, I mean, to be in a brand new facility and we're all out there and the whole team's in the in the paw and outside watching those guys. And and uh, as soon as Deshaun threw that first pass, you, you could hear it. The whole team was was uh, cheering for him and talking and all that. So that was special. And, um, you know, I think as a coach, it's very rewarding you know, we can remember, I can remember when Deshaun was a freshman and sophomore in high school. And I can remember him going out, you know, in his first starts in high school and just, you know, this, this stage not being too big for him, just being very fluid and uh, being able to execute. I can remember him as a true freshman at Georgia coming off the bench in the very first drive, going and leading us to a touchdown. And so it was really neat to see that, that final phase as his his uh, debut on the NFL field. And that was the biggest thing that, that uh, you know, I think I took away from it is he looked very natural. It didn't look like the moment was too big for him and uh, he's gonna only get better. So that was very encouraging and all the players and coaches really enjoyed uh, watching those guys last night. Coach, how's Ray Ray doing now that he has a cast off? Yeah, uh, he's been doing well. Um, he's had, you know, his best uh, week of practice so far. He's really caught everything. I haven't noticed anything with his hand. Um, you know, I think that um, his change of direction and quickness, he, you know, has been very good. He's caught the ball well, been very consistent, and um, has added to some really good uh, competition uh, there at the two-man position. What are you going to see scrimmage on Saturday? Yeah, just seeing how we all put it together. Uh, we've had our moments. Um, you know, done some really good things. Uh, Kelly Bryant has had a a really, really good fall camp up to this point. You know, the best, uh, the best week stretch that he's had in his entire career. And so I want to see him carry that over uh, to a scrimmage situation. I want to see the entire offense carry over the execution that we've had. It's been really, really good at times. And I want to see us carry that over where all the coaches are off the field. Can we execute? Can we get the signals? Can we get the tempo going? Can we go down on a long drive and score? And then, uh, you know, for that, that next group, those younger guys that get opportunities, you know, are they ready for that moment? Can they go out there uh, in that setting and make, make plays? Are any of the other quarterbacks showing up where you're like, yeah, I've noticed that guy? I think they've all had their moments. I mean, they're really, they really have. I don't think there's not one guy in that group um, that I've been disappointed in. Um, even Chase Bryce, it's been amazing what he's been able to do. Um, you know, just getting here this summer, uh, he has learned everything very quickly. It's um, very obvious to uh, us coaches that he has very good football knowledge. He's got good instincts for the position. Uh, he's jumped right in there. A uh, you know casual person coming to practice would think that he's been here uh, for longer than just a week of practice. So all four of those guys have uh, had done some really good things, and I think. You know, the scrimmage Saturday will be a uh, good um, good opportunity to really evaluate those guys further uh, in a different setting.
Coach Swinney was, was saying the other day how well uh, Amari played in, in Ray Ray's absence while, while Ray was uh, playing a little DB. Um, is Amari a guy, it's still early obviously, but is he a guy that you think could uh, see the field pretty early? Yeah, well, he did He did an excellent job for the first three days. I mean, it's, it's kind of funny because he was out there while Ray Ray was out. Ray Ray had to stand on the sidelines and watch Amari go out there and make a bunch of plays. Then Amari got uh, nicked up. He had to step out, and then it was Ray Ray's time to kind of come back. And uh, so that's been kind of fun to watch those guys compete. I think it speaks a lot to uh, Amari's development and his talent and ability that he's able to come in day one and really uh, challenge a guy uh, like Ray Ray uh, that's really uh, put himself in a really good position. But they have. They've battled. I'll be excited. Uh, I think Amari should be back tomorrow, so it'll be fun to watch those guys, um, you know, go back and forth in the same practice. Is the return game another area that Amari could really contribute this season? Yeah, uh, and obviously we haven't done any live work, but uh, knock on wood, Amari hasn't dropped the ball yet. Um, some guys, it's very natural. And I can remember uh, Marcus Gilchrist he was a guy who was just from day one. He went back there and it was very easy for him. And Amari is one of those guys that's just very fluid and uh, very easy, natural catching the ball. Uh, now the next step is everybody off the field and we actually got a, a punt team coming down live, tackling, you know, is he able to do the same thing and make good decisions. So we definitely will have it scripted in to, to uh, give all those guys some opportunity uh, for some live work and see, see where we are. At what point did you start losing your voice? Uh, about 10, 10 periods in the first practice, uh, but I'll have it back tomorrow morning. It really comes right back, so I don't think I would have made a very good singer. Uh, <laughs> doesn't last very long. Thanks, Coach. Good.